Today I've got a little bit of an update on the Yankee Candle new jar, new wax situation. Um, I've been in touch and spoken to someone from Yankee Candle who has some information for me and kindly been able to answer as much as they could question wise. So before we get on with that, I would like to welcome back my lair dwellers and thank you for sharing part of your day with me. And if you're new here, welcome to our small corner of YouTube where we do things scent, spiritual and spooky. And today is scent, it's scented candles. Okay, well the last video I made, whilst it wasn't breaking news in the US, it was rather breaking news in the UK because we didn't know we were going to be getting a change in jars everything that happens in the US doesn't always translate over to the UK or the EU so it was quite a, an interesting bit of news and it seemed that people were not sure exactly what was happening with the apothecary jars collectors were desperately desperately upset because they the whole part of their collection experiences not even necessarily burning um, it is actually collecting the jars Anyway, I managed to get a hold of a lovely young lady who represents Yankee Candle and I put a few questions to her. She has answered me as best as she can and there is the codicil that a lot can still change but this is the news for now and it does all depend on Covid and shipping type things and I suppose Brexit would have a, a, an impact on it with import and export etc etc through the EU. Anyhow, first question I put to her was will there be Illumilids for the new two wick jars in the signature collection? The answer was that she had not heard of accessories for the signature collection yet but this is not to say it definitely won't happen. I asked her if the classic collection was going to disappear and she told me that the signature collection was a standalone part of the collection which consists of classic jars, elevation candles and the new signature collection. I asked when we would possibly be getting them in the UK. Uh, the earliest date is late autumn 2021 or more likely early 2022. I said, are the apothecary jars going to have a core range? And she said, they're not just for the returning favourites, which had been something I had heard. They will still have a core range. Again, she can't tell me what that core range is, whether it's going to be less than we have now. But it, they're still going to be there. So if you have a favourite, it's very likely that you'll still be able to get it. Now, as I said, a lot can change. Uh, this is what I've been told so far. And a lot depends on what happens in the world. Until we get any different news, it seems to be that what's out in America may possibly come to us, which is a large jar with a maximum burn time of 90 hours, a two-wick tumbler, with a maximum burn time of 96 hours, a medium jar with a maximum burn time of 50 hours, a three wick jar with a maximum burn time of 25 hours, and a single wick jar which has a maximum burn time of 29 hours, I believe. I'm looking at something and I wrote it down and I don't know if it's 29. I think it is. <laughs> if they sell well in the US, then they will put more into them. And I'm sure if they are popular, they will produce Illumilids, uh, maybe shades. But of course, the actual jars themselves seem to have a lid that can be used as a stand. I would really love to try and review one of these candles. I don't know when I'm going to be able to get one. 
um, hey Yankee you want to send me one I'll review it for you and I'll do an honest review so everybody who's been watching this can know okay so till next time when I've got some more news for you take care stay safe and thanks for watching